Kone. For Milani! Unmarked, unerring. So the possession has been turned into penetration. Jordi Gomez threads it through. And it is two. Callum McManaman. Well, that's cup football for you. And McManaman, who has been an outstanding player for Wigan, particularly as the team performance has dropped down. He's making the right kind of headlines here. You're not going. Oh, Mum, come on. It's like it's playing at Wembley. How can you tell me not to go? It's my dream. Especially with it being the FA Cup final. It's today. I thought you would have changed your mind by now. No, I've not changed my mind, and you're not going neither, after what you did to me at Harry's bar. Luke, I told you, I weren't flirting with her. Oh, you look lovely, Kimberly. Don't you look different out your Primark uniform? You look gorgeous. You're all over her like a rash. I weren't flirting. I didn't expect you punching me in the face. Oh, Kevin, look at the state of me. I can't go anywhere like this now. Oh, shut up, John. Oh, Joe. You've gone through ketchup again. I've gone out and put on my bait and butt in her. I see you, Ari. The sauce everywhere, greedy sod. Look at the pair of you. It's so unhealthy to have that kind of shite at brekkie. Look at the fat on it. You what? And what you're having is healthy. A cup of coffee and a fag, get out of it. Sod off, I could smoke if I like. Anyway, no calories in a fag and a coffee. Webley, you're not going. We are going. Just because you've fallen out with Dad don't mean you can stop me from having my dream come true. If you stop me, I'll never forgive you. And you can give me some spend from Copper Jar. Well, you're not getting out of that, lad. <laughs> That's a fags and bingo fund. Shut up, John. It's my sunbed and hair extensions funds, actually. So get your facts right, you tit. Yeah, it looks like you wasted your money. Well, my money. You look a reach state. You look orange. You look like an umpalumper. You what, orange? <laughs> I think mine the colour is golden, you cheeky sod. Orange. Golden? Get out of it. You look like an umpalumper whose roots have all gone to pot. And that tat you had done your back was a crock of shite. How much was it again? Two hundred odd quid for a couple of birds running the tree in a cage. They don't look like birds. The trees are shite and the cages squink. I've never seen as much crap. You've ruined your body with it. I couldn't believe it when you come home and show me that. I work all hours, God send, so you can have squiggles of birds and shapes on your back. You're like a bloody walking doodle. You are? What about your tats? That one on Latix badge in your arm is the old one. They've changed it now. So, I'm an umpa lumper. My roots have gone to cock, and I've got shite on my back. you got no style, John. This tattoo is state of the art. It's class. But you wouldn't know class if it was staring you in the face. Balls. It's a load of... I know what you're going to say, so don't say it. If you've got nothing good to say, then don't say anything at all. It's the waste of well-earned coin. You're in better off spending it on her Joseph. She'll give him that money at Copperjaw. Let him have some spending money and let me and him go to Wembley. If you go to Wembley, then I'll bin bag you. Our marriage is over. Your choice. You are? You're giving me an ultimatum over her marriage just because I won't take Joe at Wembley? Give me fancy words, John. What does that mean? What does what mean? Ultima thingy. What does it mean? Ultimatum? Yeah. Well, in layman's terms, it's giving me a choice. It's Wembley or you. This moment in time, Wembley wins, hands down. <sighs> well, you got your bloody tickets anyway, so go on. Sling your up, both of you. Give me a bit of peace anyway. Latics. Oh, by the way, Mum... Thought you'd gone. What do you want? You say you give me that money from Copper Jar. Oh, bloody hell. There you go. Don't spend it all at once. Pig in hell. Fifty quid. Thanks, Mum. Come on, Dad. Let's get bus. I well, hope you bloody met it. Come on, you latex. Whoa, whoa. Come on, you latex. Whoa. Oh, if you want to kept us yapping, we've been here before 8 o'clock. Women, eh? <laughs> it's always the same. When you don't want to buzz, you see one every two minutes. And when you do want one, nothing comes. Come on. 
I know. Oh, well, I hope we don't make it on time. At this rate, we were missing on match at there. Oh, here's one. Sorry, not in serve. Oh, pig in hell. All right, pal. Well, not really. Eh? Mine just kicked off last minute, but it's not going. You what? I thought it's in her fate. Oh, I don't believe this. Just wait it Buzz Wigan now. Oh, hang on, pal. I think there's one here. I'll see you in a bit. Come on, lad. Two foot bus station, pal. Bloody hell, that bacon butter's not gone down yet. Oh, well, we're quicker going through churchyard. Come on, lad. Hey, I think my store is open at this time. Come on, Dad. Sorry, sorry. I'm getting all of it now, you know. I'm not a whippersnapper. Oh, no, we've missed a bloody train. What are we going to do? Hey, let's see who can jump on a coach. Come on. How can I help? We just missed the quarter past eight to Wembley. Is there any coaches we can jump on? Just have a look. Oh, for God's sake. There's no need to be so impatient. I'm sorry, but we'll not miss match. I might have known. Football. Mike's husband was just the same. That's why I left bugger. Him and his bloody football. Even holidays were ruined because of football. Do you know, every time we went on holiday, he would do nothing except watch the football and get hammered in the bar while I'd be sat doing nothing. Yeah, more like telling yourself and reading Fifty Shades of Big and Grey. Uh, excuse me? I've never read that kind of muck in my life and I don't sit and tell myself. You're all the bloody same, me lot. Listen, if you don't mind, we've got to get on. Okay. Well, last orders, organised one. You've missed that. Mm, let see. Ali's bar. Mm, you've missed that. Let me check Vital Latics. Oh, sorry, you've missed it. There is one from Moon, but you missed that as well. So, next train is in an hour. You change your crew. Belted. Two, please. I can't believe we missed that train, all because your bloody mother. Top it all off, Lottics will probably get hammered and we'll end up missing it. Come on, Dad, don't be so negative. I know, I'm sorry. I'll tell you what, I'm goosed already, me. I'm not looking forward to this journey. I know, me too. I couldn't sleep last night. Just been too excited. <sighs> yeah, well, not long now, we'll soon be there. Dad, Dad, wake up. The train's coming. Time to mix, please. Dad, come on, wake up. We're going to miss this train. What, 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 what? Shit, shit, come on. Oh, thank God we made that. You wouldn't have woken up if it weren't for me. Sorry, sorry. Don't get your knickers in a twist. Excuse me, are these seats taken? No, no, take them. Thank God for that, eh? Yeah, I know. Are we looking forward to the match then? We can't wait for this, can we, Joseph? How do you know my name? No, sorry, this is my son. Here, lad, there's another boy called Joseph, too. All right, Ace. Oh, look at him there, there's his latex top on it. Yeah, he's a massive fan. We never thought we'd make today, but he's going to be the mascot. Hey, Joseph, we've got a little celebrity here. <laughs> yeah, we're lucky we made the train today. He's not been too good, but he's a little fighter. There's no way he's going to miss this for the world. Oh, poor thing. If you don't mind, uh, what's up with him? He's got a rare condition called NKH. NKH? What's that? It stands for non ketotic hyperglycinemia. It's a very rare genetic metabolic disorder. I mean, we're lucky to have him here. He's got his good days and bad days, but we've got medication to keep the seizures under control, so that's great. Do you know the doctor's told us he wouldn't live past 10 days? Bloody hell, that's awful. Yeah, he's a fighter though, aren't you, son? Yeah, we're trying to raise money now to try and find a cure for NKH. Here, take this. 
Oh, I couldn't take that, lad. Don't be daft. Well, I were only going to spend it on toffee and crap anyway, so I'd rather give it to you. Take it. Oh, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I just really hope you can raise the money to find a cure for your little lad. Oh, thank you so much. I'm really proud of you, son. Now I see that. Come on, let's have a sing-song. Oh, top idea. You are my sunshine. My only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are grey. <laughs> oh, thank God we're nearly here. Yeah, I know. We can't wait for this, can we, Joseph? It's been a bit of a drag, but it's been great bumping into you, Paul, and your little Joseph as well for his big day. We'll have to keep in touch. Let us know if there's any charity events coming up and maybe help you out. Yeah, yeah, we'll do. Anyway, what do we reckon? 2-1 Wigan. Oh, Batney, will we? Oh, sure up, typical southerner can't keep his mouth shut. Oh, yeah. Think you are, Big Mouth. I bet you're part of the so-called goon squad, loony squad, more like. Oh, come on, pal, we don't want any trouble. As soon as we get off this train, you're having it. Oh, yeah, meeting all the mates, are you? Just you and me, one to one. The next stop is for London Euston. Could all passengers make sure they have all their luggage and slowly step off the platform. Please mind the gap while stepping off the platform. The next stop, London Euston. Dad, don't do anything. It's not worth it. No, it's really annoying, mate. I'll let him in, no problem. Joe's right, just ignore him. He's not worth it. Go on in! <laughs> Dad, Dad, you are that? Right? Oh shit, the police! Dad? Dad? What seems to be the trouble here? My dad's been beaten up. We better call for an ambulance, he's taking a right beating. Okay, sir. Did you get a good description of the man who did this? Ambulance, please. Right away at London Euston. A man has been involved in an altercation on Platform 7. As soon as you can, please. Thanks. Anyway, sir, did you get a good description of the man who did this? Yeah, uh, about 5'10", dark hair. I'm not leaving you. Don't be daft, son. You're going. I won't let you miss this for the world. I'll be alright, just get gone and watch your stuff up. No, I can't, Dad. I'm not leaving you. Luke, it was my fault anyway. Something ended up fighting him. I should have listened to you. Anyway, I'm off now to hospital. You're going. Come on, lad. Me and Joseph have got a car waiting to take us to the match. You come with us, we'll come back and see your dad in the hospital when the game's over. Where are you taking him? Central Middle Six. So you have to take lad. Hey, Joe. You are my sunshine. My only sunshine. You make me happy. I can't believe we've made it to Wembley. I just thought my dad's going to be all right. Don't worry about it, son. He'll be fine. We'll go and see him after the game. Hey, Paul. Is that Mr. Whelan? But, yeah, that's him all right. And that's Boise. Hello, I'm David Whelan, Chairman of Wigan Athletic. Are you looking forward to the match then? Yeah, yeah. of course. Did you know the last time I was here, I broke my leg back in 1960? Anyway, this is Emerson Boyce, our captain. He'll be leaving the squad out today. Excuse me, are you Joseph Kendrick's dad? Yeah, that's me. Is it alright if I take him out of the pram and carry him onto the pitch, as he's one of us? Wow, of course, yeah, absolutely, thanks. Cool, come on mate, let's go. for him. Joel had other ideas. That's a kind of Barry giving it away. Kone, McManaman, right man, right place. Can he go all the way? Across comes uh, 
Zabaleta, he's got to go. The second yellow for Pablo Zabaleta. Maloney takes, and it's in! It's Ben Watson! It's Ben Watson for Wigan Athletic! They've surely won the FA Cup! For Dave Whelan, for Roberto Martinez! You just cannot write scripts 